All right. So our subject today is kinesiology table. Just like I was talking before about other stuff about like scraping is you probably I started noticing about um, when the Olympics were in Australia. Um, all these people started coming up to me and going, I noticed that athletes are wearing, what's all this black tape that you're seeing on the athletes? As you can see up here, she's wearing kinesiology. And I was like, I have no clue. I thought it was tape we've used past, right? Athletic tape. Athletic tape comes in different colors. I said, I have no clue. It doesn't really work, though. This is, but all I thought was this. So I had to do what you did for trying to do what? Some research. I started looking at kinesiology tape. And so kinesiology tape is different from athletic tape. It is really different. The, the actual structural difference is different. We talked about athletic tape. Our bread and butter is athletic trainers. It is woven, right? It is cloth and it has a percent of cotton in it. Okay? It is, doesn't stretch. It's a little bit of pliable. Kinesiology tape, on the other hand, is stretch. It stretches. It has different designs. Okay? And so, so I had to figure out why do we use it and how do we use it? Okay? And so what we they found out. designed in 1970 by Dr. Kenzo Case. He was a chiropractor and an acupuncturist. And so he started looking at the design of the tissue. And what he was figuring out is he started looking through acupuncture, also chiropractor, what is a chiropractor? Pops it. First thing is it pops my bones. They basically align you. Right? They readjust you, put you in alignment, so your joints are, are freely moving. So these out of whack, so they put it back in place. Okay? So, and then acupuncture. Does anybody know anything about acupuncture? Needles. needles. The purpose of the needles are basically to help relax muscles. Also, there's a fundamental thing called chi. They believe in, we talked about, I don't know if we talked about it before, but chi is about um, the, you have a field. We do have a magnetic field around us. But the chi also, they found out, goes in, when you go into the muscle, it helps relax the muscle. The needle is stimulating the muscle tissue. And so when they looked at it, for his studies as an acupuncturist and as a chiropractor, there's another thing I looked into, it's called myofascial release. We talked about the fascia before. The fascia is a thin layer of um, tissue that surrounds all our organs and muscles. And what happens is over time of overuse, basically the muscles, what? They trap and stay that way. And if somebody, if you or somebody says, oh, I got a knot in my back. I got a knot in my shoulder. What is a knot? It's muscle tightness. And you can actually feel it, right? You can actually feel the knot. And basically the muscle is, the, and what they're doing, they found with myofascial is, is basically you smooth it out, okay? So what they've done, is they look at the tissue, and with the tissue is the tissue is basically compressing, pushing down on the what the different levels of the tissue is what two layers of tissue is what's two layers of the tissue dermis and the epidermis epidermis is what top and so they looked at it as, it as the muscles are scrunched up. It puts compression down, slowing, the, slowing down blood flow, also slowing down lymphatic drainage. Also, it now, it now it's pushing down on your pain nerves, so you have pain. Pain is important. Does anybody pull a muscle? Once you pull a muscle, it is extremely extremely painful, right, if you've had it, and that's one thing. So he looked at this, okay, okay, what can I do 
to help Val on. So what he did was, he decided that, like when my fascia release, how can I relieve the pressure? How can I open up the pressure and let the blood flow freely and let the lymphatic drainage freely? And so he started looking, what if I try to pull the skin apart? What if I try to get the epidermis and pull it up? So if I actually pull it up, now I am releasing pressure on what? The nerves. So I'm going to decrease pain. Now I'm getting blood flow back in, right? So he just decided, this is what I need to do, but how do I do it? And so he looked at tape and he designed kinesiology tape. And so, So take characteristics and use basic kinesiology. Kinesiology is a study of body movement. So he studied how muscles move. This is important because this is how, where, and why we lay the tape down. When is it used? Used in the field, the sports. You see it, I still see it in football. You see it in my the shoulder pad. You see it down their arms. I've actually seen it on faces. Kind of weird. Facilities of the body, natural healing process. You take over the muscles. Headaches to foot problems. It's also being used in pediatrics. I saw a lot of research done in pediatrics. So what does it do? Well, this is what it basically they, he says it does. The people who sell these tape reduce pain, enhance performance, prevention of injuries, reduce bruising, promote and improve circulation, supports muscles, manages edema, and assists in, assist in lymphatic drainage. I became aware of this during when I was in one of my high schools, and one of my students' mother was a massage therapist, and she did this. I said, oh, how did you learn to do that? She goes, I went to a class. Oh. Where's the class and how much is it? $800 to learn how to use tape. How many of you got $800 laying around? Guess where I learned how to do the tape? YouTube. There's a lot of people on YouTube who teach you how to do this for free. So I start practicing and using it. The question is, is Again, like I talked before about athletic training, we don't want to get reimbursed. So I can practice and do this stuff. Am I doing any damage to anybody just putting tape on? No. So if it doesn't work, I'm not causing harm. So I started practicing. So then, how does it work? So I really want to know how it works. I just don't want to use something. I want to know how it works. Again, Characteristic mimic of human skin. Basically, we're laying it on the skin and we're lifting the epidermis off the dermis and trying to get free flowing, you know, lymphatic system. Lymphatic system, the lymphatic system does what? It is our garbage disposal, right? What happens if you don't take your garbage out of your house? It stinks up the house, makes everybody miserable. Well, same thing happens in you got toxic stuff in your body. We don't get rid of that waste. Our body starts up. What happens if you start seeing yellow in somebody's eyes? That is? Jaundice. And that means something ain't working. It's usually the uh, liver. Yeah, the liver. That means toxins are building up. The liver is not filtering. And if we don't fix that, we are going to die. Okay? So basically, we want to get the lymphatic system. We have an injury. I want to get stuff out. So properties of kinesiology tape. He wanted to basically mimic skin. He wanted to tape as elastic and stretchable. He wanted hypoallergenic latex free. Because latex problem is some people are. Our allergies. Our allergies. And the cool thing about this tape, a lot of people don't realize, is you leave this on three to five days. You can leave it on three to five days. Can you shower with it? Yes. 
Now, a lot of people don't, they take it off, but you can't, what if somebody is in, has a huge edema and we leave this on three to five days, and we can tell them, go ahead, take a shower with it. Heat actively adheses them. The tape, the glue that they use, we have to rub it, and we have to heat it up. We don't like a heating gun, but the active of the um, ingredient in the glue is active by heat and becomes very, very sticky. This stuff will stay on you for quite, quite some time. Adhesive wave pattern allows for heat escape, forms convolution in the skin, and increases space between skin and muscle. Basically, again, I want to pull it up and get it um, the blood flow. Alright, things we can't have. Can't be a hairy person. It has to go directly on skin. So other stuff that can prohibit things sticking to your skin is what? Why do we use it? Want to keep it nice and smooth. Lotion. Lotion. You can't have any type of topical stuff on you. It has to be dry. Rub the surface with activated adhesive. You want to put it on a good hour before. You don't want to put it, I want to put it on you right before, oh, I'm going to go out and run. What are you going to start doing right away? You're going to start sweating. So I want to put on a good hour before, let that glue heat up, get it sticky, and then you can go out. Avoid extreme stretching of the tape. Don't stretch it too tight because as soon as I put it too tight and you start to move, what's going to happen to the tape? It's going to start peeling off, folding off. Okay? So, So what you learn is each type of injury is how much, how much stretch do I use. Now with this tape, with kinesiology tape, if you stretch it all the way, that's 100%. Or you can do 50%. Or you can do 20%. And depending on how long people have studied this and done studies, and over a practice of time, they decided, and on a lot of the literature, and a lot of stuff that I watched, learning how to, or the books I read, they'll say 30%, 40%, 50%. Some companies have actually come out and put designs on the tape, so when, and it's pretty much a measurement gauge. And so when you stretch it, you know it's at 50%. Unfortunately, this one doesn't. So you kind of have to guess how much it is. Okay. You have to know your muscle origin and insertion. Okay. You gotta know where the muscle because you're basically gonna put this over the muscle. You don't want to go against the grain to a point. Tape is applied over the affected area with the muscle in stretch position. Tape is applied to the end of the muscle. Basically, I'm going from tendon to tendon, going over the muscle. As I'm relieving, if I'm pulling the skin up, I'm doing what with the muscle? I'm decompressing the muscle, right? So I'm helping relieving. More blood flow to the muscle means what? It heals faster. It heals faster, more nutrients, more oxygen, decreases the healing time. Type of application. You have an eye strip X, Y, and so what they've decided is, is the different patterns, and they learn different patterns. An eye strip is basically the strip of tape, okay? This is what we consider, if I lay this straight on you, it's an eye. If I split the tape down the middle and go out, make it look a Y, that's a Y, and of course an X would be, I take two strips and make an X. You see a different on, on the far, um, your far left, the bottom of the pink, that's called a fan. You just basically strip it out. Now, you have to have good sharp scissors, and the companies have decided they have started making pre-strips, and they'll have a fan strip. They even have a knee one. Basically, design it, goes over it, you just stick it on, pull, and you just put it on there. It's a whole pattern, so you don't have to make it. Unfortunately, those cost more. Okay? Here's an example of a fan. Here's an I. Here's a Y. Here's another I. Here's an X crossing over. Okay? 
Okay? So we basically place this anywhere on the human body. Here's foot, plantar fasciitis, here's a possible knee, upper and lower back, again, if somebody has headaches, um, shoulder, wrist. And so they, there's different patterns. Here's an example of them using it for a contusion. As you can see, he has a really bad contusion. It is black. They put the fan on, they spread it out. So the reason why they spread it out is more surface area. And as you can see, when they take it off three to five days later, you can actually see the strips of the tape. Down here again, a hamstring, common, pulled, and they put it on, they took it off. And here's another one, uh, they did two uh, um, applications of it, and it's almost gone. So again, that lymphatic drainage, pushing it out, I mean, yeah, pulling it out of the swelling. And so, so kinesio tape, McConnell tape, uh, the column tape is, is more like the athletic tape we, uh, I don't know, we talked about. It's rigid cotton tape, neuromuscular re-education, bracing, strapping. Basically, we're using this to immobilize, right? It's stiff, it's rigid. We want to protect the damaged area. We tape an ankle using the cotton because we want to what? We want to prevent motion from a certain area, right? So we use this. We're using, predominantly using the KT tape. We can use it to help promote healing and protection. But the problem is this, this tape is not really good for an ankle, a closed basket, which we learn how to do. It doesn't give you quite the support that I would want. The KT tape is a little bit more flexible. I get more range of motion out of it. Can be worn three to five days. Worn no longer than 18 hours for the McConnell tape. You basically want to get rid of it. Okay? And so, and then athletic tape, same thing. Extreme rigidity, prevention, protection of injuries as the McConnell tape. There are so many different types of tape out there. But this is the only one that basically says, hey, we will decrease swelling, decrease pain, and help healing. And then, um, so the problem is, is when, you, when I started doing a lot of research on this, some of the videos I said, of course, I remember I told you, Avon lady will never tell you her stuff is what? Bad. So a lot of these companies want to promote their tape. They want to sell this. And so they basically come out with research and say, oh, it, it works, it works. Well, the problem is, is I want to really want to know, if I'm going to spend this money, now, just to let you know is, if you ever decide you want to do this, apparently you go to Walmart here in Batesville, the blue was five bucks. I went up there, this was uh, 20 bucks, and this was 20 bucks. So I said, why is this too? So you notice I bought three different colors, and they come in pink. Does anybody know why they come in different colors? There's no reason this is for color. There's no different applications. I was told by somebody else that blue was for cooling. I, you wanted to use the black for um, healing. Red was if you wanted to get more blood flow. Somebody told me that. So I looked up, then I saw this color, beige. What is beige? Do? I started doing research, found out there is no, it's just color difference. So if your team is blue or something, you can use blue. If you want black, you can use black. If you want pink, I had a female basketball player, she loved the pink. So I used, I bought her the pink one. And we used pink on her. Okay? So I did a lot of research. I found out when it came to, for pain, decreasing pain, increasing range of motion, they didn't find any significant difference between using KT tape, 
or athletic. How they did the experiment was they basically told uh, Ms. Berryhill, you're in this group, okay, you're in this group, and we randomly pick you, and somebody did the exact same cake job, exact same, except they used different tape. They found out when they used the placebo one, there was no difference in pain. They did the same rehab, they did the same thing. But they also found out, in some of the studies I read, it did help decrease swelling. As you saw the, the, um, the uh, slide with the bruising gone, it actually decreased the time by almost 30%. And when you're paying somebody in the professional leagues millions and millions of dollars, 30% is a pretty good number. That means that's less time they're in the athletic training room or rehab. It means they're on the field. Also, I have my personal professional experience is I used this tape on one of our basketball players this year. I've used it on for stabilization of the shoulder. He had a chronic subluxation of the glenohumeral joint, so I decided to use KT tape. So I taped them, and he said it worked pretty good. Was it 100 percent? Then we had ultimately ended up giving him a shoulder brace to keep it in. But one of the things is he wanted to be free moving, and some of the braces that restrict subluxation dislocation basically stop you from moving, so he didn't have full range of motion. And also, the braces are about 120, 120 to 200 to 300 dollars. And I asked my basketball coach, "We have that in our budget?" He's like, "No, I'd rather spend it on other things." So this, I bought this roll, and it worked out. But then all of a sudden, it didn't quite do exactly. So we ended up going to the brace, and the brace did a better job. But it did hold it in place. So how do we use this tape? Basically, KT tape, these are pre-stripped. Some of them come in a long strip, and you gotta cut them. This is pretty simple, and the one I'm gonna demonstrate to you. So you can pause.